Hello everyone, my name is Ben Pope and this is a video about the new DLC for Rome 2. It is called Wrath of Sparta and in this video I'm gonna uh, ask you guys to go to the link below and vote for which faction you would like to see me play on the channel. And also I'll explain a bit about what this DLC is. So without further ado, Wrath of Sparta is focusing on the Peloponnesian War, which is all the Greek city-states going at each other. Um, the set time in history for this campaign to start is 432 BC. And there will be four playable factions and one, or oh, a lot more other factions in there. Um, and then there's a fifth uh, big faction that uh, will take a key, will have a key role in this, and that's the Persians. Um, you know that the Persian threat has always been big in that time for the Greeks. And the Persians are kind of sitting idle and waiting to see how the Greek affairs uh, go. And towards the end game, let's say. The Persian will escalate their military involvement over time and uh, grow their efforts to bring the most powerful of the Greek states down to its knees. So that means that whoever you're playing or whatever um, happens, uh, whichever Greek faction becomes the strongest, that's when the Persians will start attacking. Um, there are over 50 new naval and land units for this DLC and I see it will have new tech trees because it's set in a different time zone so it will have to reflect the you know branches of um, military and naval and civil and all that stuff of that time and there will be um, games and festivals uh, obviously the Olympics and um, other games, I don't recall exactly what they were. They are on the wiki, I'll have a wiki um, link below as well, so you guys can go ahead and look at all the details. The four playable factions are um, is Athens, or Athenae, uh, Corinthus, Sparta, and the uh, Boeotian League. Boeotian League? There's a lot of vowels there. Uh, and let's, I'm gonna go to the wiki right now and get a couple of the details or just key key things about these uh, each of these factions. So Athens, uh, they are the central of learning in the ancient world. And Athens prof uh, profits well from its cultural exports and its naval supremacy. Uh, means that it is geared for greater naval production capacity than its neighbors. However, its dreams of a great Athenian empire across Greece are dwindling, um, and the happiness of its people with it as well. So they're able to mass produce navy, uh, and that's their strength, but their, oh, and I guess their exports, so um, trade income as well. Uh, but people are not very happy with um, the overall process of or progress, I would say. It's progress. Right, next up is Corinthus. And uh, let's see, it's a city that's standing in the industrial shadow of Athens. Uh, thus, their export economy suffers. However, its proud maritime. Uh, heritage makes for well-trained sailors and swifter ships and the uh, Corinthians devout worship of Aphrodite makes for a most abundant population so it sounds like they have a lot of people um, which I guess that will make it so more units are available for training you know how you have like a limit of um, you can only train like you know three four of one unit before you have to wait a while or is that something like that anyway 
uh, and they don't make as much money from economy because Athens is right near them but they have uh, faster ships and better trained sailors that's kind of interesting uh, next up is Sparta and obviously we know Sparta as the military power um, for their foot soldiers and it says here that uh, the Spartan domination of the Hello people means that they command an abundant and durable slave population. These thralls manage their uh, lesser matters of life such as agriculture, craftsmanship and so forth. Uh, freeing true Spartans to pursue an existence in martial perfection. Which means that all the true Spartans, all they do is train and fight and all they do is war. You know how that goes. It says that uh, Sparta produces veteran warriors before they even reach the battlefield. Because of this and their military training is just intense. Last uh, playable faction is the Boyotian League. And it says that they were sworn rival to Athens. And they suffer diplomatic relationship relationships with other pro-Athenian tribes. Um, however, its newly returned pride and sense of stature in the world drives its warriors to create acts of heroism in the battlefield. So they fight more ferociously. Uh, that's kind of the brief descriptions. There's more to each faction listed in, in the wiki. That you can go read in the link below and uh, that's really all I want to touch on here and I um, again this will be released on December the 16th it is a Tuesday if you want to get this DLC for yourself it uh, you may find it on Steam or straight at the Creative Assembly or Sega stores and I think for the US, the price now is uh, $13.49. It's like a dollar off. Huge, huge discount, let me tell you. A whole dollar, I can like do almost nothing with that. Okay. Thank you for uh, paying attention and uh, hear me out. Please go vote. And uh, let me know what you think of this new DLC. Was it was it needed? And personally, I was with you know both feet forward, going towards uh, the start of the Middle Ages and and uh, Total War Attila. Uh, you know, that's the game that's coming next, and that's at the start of the Middle Ages. I was with with both feet in that era already, just following the uh, the bits of information that they're sending us and, and now they toss us a new DLC for Rome 2 which is like I guess it's fine people will get it because it's Sparta uh, and I don't intend to play Sparta as a must because I know everybody everybody else out there will do that there will be you know popular channels that are like yep I'll play a Sparta and everybody that wants to see Sparta kick ass will go and watch them so Personally, I would probably choose the lesser, the lesser uh, factions like the Corinthos or the Boyotian League, um, and not go to big guns. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just I kind of do that. I pick the lesser factions sometimes, not all the time. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know what you think, and. Um, Again, please go vote, and I'll see you around. Bye!